Hello guys, in this video, I'll show you how to make a smart junction box which can control your AC loads. So this project utilizes the power of ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and then it does not require any microcontroller. So this is a microcontroller independent tutorial. So I have already made this project. I'll start by showing you the output so that you'll get to understand what the project actually is. So this is the junction box which I was talking about and the junction box has three output ports over here actually output uh, terminals and then the first two is the loads that i was talking about you can connect any kind of ac load over here this is the load one and this is load two and the first plug over here is used to power the project itself so here i have a dot board which is already soldered i'll quickly open this up and show you everything but before that i'll show you how it works so this dot board will have a module to convert the ac to dc and then uh, esp8266 module itself and then some relays and the relay driver circuit so here i have a liquid vaporizer as load one and a zebronic speaker as load two so as you can see both of them are connected to the terminals and then this whole junction box as usual like every junction box it has a plug point which is connected over here and right now it is turned off so the esp has one particular problem called the power cycle problem means that uh, you cannot have the loads connected when the ESP module is powered on. So I have used two wires over here to disconnect the loads while it is being powered on. And once it is powered on, you can short both these terminals and it will be working as usual. So now let me quickly show you how the output works. Now let me turn on this whole module. Make sure that the load is disconnected while you are powering it on. So the plug is connected over here. Means the dot board inside this will be powered by this terminal. So let me go ahead and turn it on. So once I turn it on, you should see a red color LED going high over here, indicating that the power has been uh, has being fed to the module. Now let me go ahead and short these two terminals using a small jumper pin, so that these loads get connected. Now. Um, you should know the IP address of your ESP8266 module before proceeding to this step. I'll show you how to get the IP later, but now I know my IP already. Let me show you how to use it with the phone. So the IP for my module is 192.168.2.103. So let me go ahead and load it. So you can see I get the text saying that smart junction box by circuit digest and switch one with two options either to turn it on or off and switch two with two options either to turn on or off and it also shows a feedback that both switch one and two are off right now so these two switches are actually dummy over here i have just uh, left them free uh, actually these two are co controlled by the load and that is uh, that's what the switch in this application means so now let me go ahead and turn any one of these loads on Okay, now let me go ahead and turn switch one on. So you can see as soon as I pressed switch one on, it, the, the liquid vaporizer over here has been turned on and it also sends me a feedback saying that the switch one is turned on. Now let me go ahead and turn it off. It's off now and it, and it says switch one is turned off. Now let me turn on the switch two, that is my Zebronic speaker. So you can see the red light over there goes high and my Zebronic speaker is searching for a Bluetooth device so I'm not gonna play it right now then let me go ahead and turn off switch 2 so it's turned off right now so you can either do this using a mobile phone or using your laptop as well so I'll show you how to do it with the laptop also I'll minimize this get into my desktop open my browser then feed in the IP address so it's 192.168.2.103 so here we go the website is loaded now let me go ahead and turn on the liquid vaporizer it's on turn it off turn it on again turn it off similarly the Bluetooth speaker turn it on turn it off turn it on so you can have this connected in your bedroom and play some okay sorry for the interruption so you can have this connected in your bedroom and play some music before you go to bed and you don't have to get off your bed to turn these things off or your liquid vaporizer off you can simply turn it off using this small project you can connect any load for example purpose okay what's the problem okay my internet connection has been disconnected Yeah. 
okay so you can it's still working right yes it is yeah it is working so that's it guys so this is how the project works now i'll show you what's inside this and how the program for it has been made and uh, i'll open this junction box and show you how the connections are made so let me pass the video for a second now yes now let me turn this off I remove the plug over here I remove the loads oh this was a pain to pick come on now I'll unscrew these three screws so I'm not sure Okay, so once it's removed, you could see the board that I was talking about. So this is the board. The circuit for this will be shown to you shortly. And as you can see, the first plug point is used to power the module itself. And the other two plug points are used to control the load. So this is the ground wire so it just connects all the ground to the main ground and then this is the face and this yes this is the face and this is the neutral so the neutral is connected to all the loads neutral so the mains neutral is directly connected to the neutral and then the face wire over here is brought to the release so i have two relays to control the two loads respectively so the face wire comes to one of the points of these two wires that is to the common point of these two relays and then the endos of these two relays are connected to load one and load two respectively so let me remove all these screws so that i can remove these terminals and then uh, take out this board and I'll explain you the components present in it or I can just simply take the board out yeah yes okay so this is the board so this board has a small tiny module over here which is the AC to DC converter this module is capable of supplying up to 700 milliamps and 5 volts so this 5 volt is converted to 3.3 volt using an LM317 variable voltage regulator because the ESP module operates on 3.3 volt and then let me remove this module then you can see two transistors which are used to drive the relay these two transistors are BC547 and this relay is capable of supplying up to 5 amps okay this one has been disconnected I'll check that out later okay so this relay is capable of supplying up to 5 amps meaning that any load that you connect over here should not exceed more than 5 amps so that is it now let's take a look at the schematics of the project okay this is the schematics of the project as i said the module is capable of converting ac to dc that is 5 volt and then so the 220 volt ac is directly connected to the module and then we have used a 3.3 power supply for esp 266 using an lm317 and we have two transistors over here the esp module itself over here so the base of the transistor is connected to gpio 0 and gpio 2 respectively and then the emitters are grounded through a switch so this is the switch uh, this switch is nothing but those two wires which I showed you so these switch or these two wires must be disconnected when you are powering the ESP module and once you have powered it on you can short this uh, I'll explain everything in detail uh, the article can be found in the link of the description of this video the codes 
uh, the wiring diagram and some other tips can be found in that article so if you want to make this project you can go ahead and visit this article so that's it guys i'll make another video to show how efficient this project is i'll try to uh, use some other useful loads and actually demonstrate you how it works that's it for now thank you